India's recent economic growth has exceeded expectations, prompting financial institutions like the IMF to upgrade their forecasts. In line with economic advancements, PayU has obtained provisional authorization from RBI. Concurrently, in response to quality concerns flagged by Singapore and Hong Kong, FSSAI has initiated nationwide sampling of powdered spice product from various brands including MDH and Everest. Hello everyone, this is Priyanshu Chaudhary for SME Futures and here are the top stories for this week. The Indian economy is already the third largest in the world in terms of purchasing power parity. The RPI Bulletin forecasts that India will surpass the US by 2045 and become the world's second largest economy in purchasing power parity. The Bulletin cites several favourable factors driving India's growth momentum. India's large and young population sets the stage for a three-decade demographic dividend, driven by increasing labour force participation. The growth has relied on domestic resources, with a substantial current account deficit. Post-COVID, the deficit stands at 8.6% and debt at 81.6% of GDP by March 2024, with potential decline to 73.4% by 2030-31. The financial sector addressed post-crisis impairments and saw positive results by March 2023. India's technology-driven transformation, including the JAM Trinity and the Unified Payments Interface, has expanded access to formal finance. Additionally, inflation is moderating after surging due to pandemic-related shocks and global pressures. RPI's approval enables PayU to onboard new merchants, a move described as a crucial one by PayU CEO. He emphasized its significance in building a global digital payment infrastructure rooted in India and aligning with the Digital India Initiative and forward-thinking RBI regulations. PayU recently collaborated with US fintech firm PayPal to improve cross-border payments for Indian merchants. PayU offers payment gateway solutions to a vast range of online businesses, serving over five like enterprises, major e-commerce players and SMEs in India. Their platform enables businesses to accept digital payments through various methods like credit cards, debit cards, net banking, EMIs, and across more than 150 options. The Spice Board of India is investigating the ban on certain Indian spice mixes by Hong Kong and Singapore due to the alleged pesticide contamination. A.B. Ramashri, Director of Spice Board of India, mentioned they are actively addressing the issue. Efforts to reach the companies involved were unsuccessful at the moment. Hong Kong Centre for Food Safety advises against purchasing and selling these items. While the Singapore Food Agency has issued a recall on spice blends, the products included are MDH Madras Curry Powder, Everest Fish Curry Masala, MDH Sambar Masala Mix Masala Powder, and MDH Curry Powder Mix Masala Powder. These were the top stories for this week. Keep tuned into SME Futures every Friday for more such updates.